Yo my people, what's good? Welcome back to another video. It's been a minute since I posted a, a long format video, but I was like, I'll just kind of show you what's going on with me. I'm kind of doing a lean bulk right now. So on Friday, today's a Sunday, but on Friday, I woke up 79.7. Um, no doubt I'm probably a bit heavier right now. And um, yeah, I'll show you a little flex of how I'm looking. 79.7 kg, by the way. I'm only like five foot eight. So getting a bit, get a bit more on the stocky side, let's say. Um, for now anyway, in a couple of years, I'll make this look shreddy. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, yeah, I'll show you a little flex. As you can see, I'm still, I'm still, still, I'm still maintaining those abs. One thing about me is I'm going to maintain those abs. But, um, no, I think I'm recording this because I kind of want to step outside of my comfort, comfort zone, just kind of get a bit bigger, put on a bit of size, obviously not get too, too fat. But, um, yeah, one thing about me, my genetics does not favor me. In that lower back region, like as you can tell, like I hold a lot of lot of fat in my lower back. So usually when I'm cutting down, like, I have to get super lean just to kind of even see that kind of a little, you know. So um, yeah, but today is a rest day. It's a Sunday. I thought I'd just show you a um, couple of my meals, really. Well, all my meals from my rest day and how it's looking. And um, yeah, come follow along. And also, I want to throw in this little tip as well. So. If you're someone like me and you find it hard to kind of use the rest days like oh how am i gonna fill that free time when you're usually training especially if you're dieting this probably applies more so when you're when you're actually like cutting down or trying to diet down or whatever but um that that hour and a half two hour gap you know traveling there and back and working out however long that takes for you two three hours or whatever how are you gonna fill that time usually if you're like me, that time might get a feel with eating, so it messes up your whole shit. But when it's a rest day, try to use that extra free time to do things that you wouldn't usually do during the week. Like for me, Sunday is a rest day, so for the most part, anyway, that is. Um, let's say the things, because you, you've been working Monday to Saturday or Monday to Friday, whatever, you may not have had time to do little things like change your bed sheets. Um, clip your nails or whatever, get 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 trim, like do your facial hair, do your beard or whatever, you know, so maybe even prep your food, like cut your chicken or do whatever you got to do, so clean the house up a little, so yeah, take that extra two hours or so to basically do stuff you wouldn't usually do to maintain hygiene and wash your car, you know, just basic things like that, I'm kind of waffling on, but hopefully you get the point and get what I'm saying, but yeah, on to the first meal now. And also, I will say this, even though it's like kind of like a lean bulk that I'm trying to do, I'm still going to keep my rest day stuff the same, my rest day food the same. So I'm not like really dropping any of my carbs. Like I'm just going with it type of thing. And part of the reason, if I was doing like a lean bowl, I would kind of maybe watch my carbs a little on my rest day, just because obviously you don't need it as much. But I will say this, on my Mondays and my Thursdays, I do a spin class on top of my training. So my Monday, I train pool. And then I do a spin class that same day, but in the evening. And then Thursday is actually another rest day. Um, but I have a spin class that I instruct in the evening. So I, I obviously do it with them. So that's why I kind of keep my Sunday Sunday food the same, basically. But yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there. Now onto the first meal. <laughs> okay, so we got a high protein, high fat meal right here. We got two eggs. And then in addition, we got another 11, 12 egg whites. Alrighty, so you see the first meal we had those eggs and now I'm gonna go to the gym do a little bit of cardio and um, Yeah, I've got this prime Egg man. I brought it to the hype man. I brought it to the hype But um, yes, yeah, the prime strawberry watermelon the actual energy drink So it's got caffeine in there about 140 milligrams. I split out with my with my broski uh, So I'm drinking the other half. Uh, I'm just gonna do some light cardio go for like a incline walk stand sort of thing just plug in a podcast or watch a few YouTube videos. And um, yeah, so a little taste test, let's have a little sip. So, you know, <laughs> pink check, check. That's all right, man. That's all right. In terms of taste, it's, um, mm. you could never really go wrong with strawberry and watermelon, right? Um, so yeah, man, um, 140 milligrams of caffeine, vegan, come on, <laughs> joke. Um, Zero sugar, okay. 
and then the main, so I'm seeing the main ingredients is caffeine, L-theanine, inol, soto, taurine, and I don't even know what this, what this one is, I've never heard of this, but gluconolactone. so I'm gonna go Google, Google what that is, and um, yeah, see, but yeah, peace, off the gym. I will say though, it's crazy, man, like, KSI and Logan Paul, obviously they don't, it's not their thing, but they own a stake in it. But the guys who are the owners, I, I haven't really checked who the owners are, but man, they're making a killing off of these guys. But smart move, I guess. You know, they're sponsoring, they're being sponsored by all these sports teams too. It's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool, cool business moves. Um, yeah, it's what it is, I respect the hustle. All right, my people just finished up some cardio. Um, yeah, didn't really plan on going to the gym, but it was with my two big bros, so you know, had to follow follow along. I just basically did a incline walk, super super casual though. It was on like a 10, 11 incline, and then a 3.2, three three to 3.3 speed, so super chill. Uh, 60 minutes, and I just did some stretching after. Um, yeah, just kind of moved my body on a rest day. Obviously, it's still good, little active recovery. Don't just be stuck at home, just chilling, sitting, and walking is good for that digestion. So, um, yeah, man, we got it in. Now I'm just gonna chill, probably eat a bit, and then, um, yeah, I think we're, I think we're going to watch Oppenheimer later. Yeah, so back home now. What I was saying was, I think we're going to watch Oppenheimer later, which we are. So, I'm gonna quickly shower up, get ready, and then I think we're gonna go to Nando's, eat some, eat some chicken and that. And then um, we'll go watch this film. I'm looking forward to it. I've heard mixed reviews. People say, obviously, some people saying they fell asleep and got bored and walked out, whatever, what, whatnot. And then other people really rating it. So looking forward to it. I think I'll like it. I know it's to do with the Cold War and kind of physics type stuff. So um, yeah, looking forward to it. And yeah, that was my post gym gym meal. I had an olive protein shake. I had a squares bar and a banana i actually didn't record it but i had two slices of toast with uh almond butter i just smoothed almond bar and now i'm gonna shower and get ready back home now but um as you can see that's what i had so i went to some chicken joints and chicken place i had half a chicken with some fries on the side then i had some lettuce and some red onion underneath the chicken and then my and then my meal or well, not meal but like what i had when i came back from the cinema um, just a protein shake and some diet lemonade because that's what I was feeling and then some just a whole lot of water too so so that wraps up the day I didn't even show a picture in the cinema but I promise you I did watch the film and it was a bang of a film I'm not gonna lie I thoroughly enjoyed that I rated that a solid 9.5 out of 10 Oppenheimer banging but yeah that's pretty much the day I have to go to sleep now I've got clients in the morning so um, I'll leave it here I don't really know what I kind of it was kind of like a whole lot of nothingness, but hopefully you can take something from that. But um, yeah, until the next one, peace.